The following alert messages occur when the air column detect sensor detected air in the patient tubing. Probable cause. There is air detected in the patient tubing by the air column detect sensor. Corrective actions. Perform the purge procedure described in earlier check, purge and flush. Probable cause. The air column detect sensor door is not fully closed. Corrective actions. Ensure that the patient tubing is secured in the air column detect sensor and the latch is fully closed. An audible click will occur when the air column detect sensor connection is secure. Probable cause. The patient tubing is not secured by the strain relief. Corrective actions. Ensure that the patient tubing is secured in the strain relief and the door is latched and the strain is closed. Probable cause. The air column detect sensor is not clean. Corrective actions. Clean the sensor with warm water. Wipe the sensor housing and tubing dry. Wetness on the exterior of the tubing may interfere with the air column detector's ability to detect an air column in fluid. The following alert messages occur when there is no contrast detected by the contrast sensor. Probable cause. Dried contrast buildup blocking the sensor. Corrective actions. Clean the contrast sensor with warm water and then dry. Probable cause. The contrast bottle is empty. Corrective actions. Ensure that sufficient contrast is in the bottle. Probable cause. The contrast sensor latch may be open. Corrective actions. Make sure the contrast tubing is secured in the contrast sensor and the contrast sensor latch is closed when an audible click is heard. Ensure that the contrast slide clamp is open. Ensure that the air vent on the contrast spike is open. Ensure that there are no air bubbles trapped in the contrast tubing. Important. The calibration will fail if the contrast button is not depressed within 4 seconds after pressing OK, is not depressed far enough to register a value of 10 on the system, is pressed before pressing OK on the system. The following alert message occurs when the hand controller calibration failed. Probable cause. During calibration, the contrast button on the hand controller was pressed before a message prompt. Corrective actions. Wait until the message appears on the screen to press the contrast button. Probable cause. The saline button was pressed instead of the contrast button. Corrective actions. Recalibrate the hand controller by pressing Calibrate hand controller.
repeats the instructions. Probable cause. The hand control was not calibrated at the beginning of the setup. Corrective actions. Recalibrates the hand controller by pressing Calibrates hand controller. Repeats the instructions. Probable cause. The hand controller button was not completely depressed during the calibration. Corrective actions. Wait until the message appears on the screen to press the contrast button. Probable cause. The connection to the control panel is not tight or straight. Corrective actions. Ensure the hand controller connections are secure at the bottom of the control panel. Make sure that the tubing is not kinked. Note. The system will display a message to calibrate the hand controller as the setup only. The hand controller must be calibrated after a new one is connected. The hand controller must be recalibrated if it is disconnected or changed at any time. If the pressure limit message appears, it means that the configured pressure limit was nearly reached. The CVI system automatically adjusts to keep the injection pressure in the syringe beneath the configured limit by reducing or stopping the flow rate. Pressure limits reached. Probable cause. The stopcock is closed. Corrective actions. Make sure that the stopcock is open. Probable cause. There is a kink in the catheter. Corrective actions. Make sure that the catheter is not kinked. Probable cause. If the pressure limit is reached. Corrective actions. Increase the preset pressure limit. Probable cause. The flow rate is too high. Corrective actions. Decrease the flow rate limit. Probable cause. The PSI parameters are too low. Corrective actions. Increase the preset pressure limit. Another corrective action is to increase the rise time. Sometimes the standby button is pressed by accident during the setup procedure. Probable cause. The standby button was pressed. Corrective actions. Press the standby button located on the right of the control panel again. Check the cable connections between the control panel and the injector head. Press OK when ready to continue. The manifold valve is designed to open at the commencement of the injection and close when the injection is complete. During an injection, it is normal to see this message displayed in the indicators box. However, if a message is displayed in the status window after an injection is complete, the manifold is not fully returned to its home position. This can happen for the following reasons. The valve is out of position due to Probable cause the manifold is not fully secured in the manifold clip. Corrective actions. Check the manifold. An audible click will be heard when the manifold clip is fully secured. Probable cause. The manifold remains in an open position due to the pressure from the syringe ram. Corrective actions. Press the standby button on the side of the screen to allow the manifold to return to its home position. Probable cause. The manifold sensor needs cleaning or the sensor is damaged slash disconnected. Corrective actions. Purge the tubing, 
clean the manifold sensor with warm water and then dry. Replace with a new manifold. Slide and close the white contrast clamp.